This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says if 2x over 3 equals 6x squared and x does not equal 0, then x equals. So we're going to be solving the equation 2x over 3 equals 6x squared for x. And again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not permitted to use a calculator or reference sheet. For that reason, I recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. The first thing I'm going to do in an effort to solve this equation for x is to get rid of this 3 from the denominator of 2x. In other words, I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3 because in doing so, these 3s cancel out, leaving me with 2x over here. Uh, what is 6x squared times 3? That's going to become 18x squared. All right, so again, we want to solve for x. That means we want to get all the x's in this equation equal to something by themselves. So the next thing I'm going to do is subtract 2x from both sides of this equation. This crosses out, leaving us with 0 over here. This becomes 18x squared minus 2x. Now, personally, I like having my letter variables on the left-hand side of the equation. So I'm just going to rewrite this accordingly. This becomes 18x squared minus 2x equals 0. Now, in order to solve this equation from here, I'm going to factor out a uh, common factor from 18x squared and negative 2x, and that common factor is going to be 2x. All right, that leaves me with 9x minus 1 in parentheses there. Now that we have uh, this set equal to 0, what we're going to do is set each of these to 0 independently. That is to say, we're going to set 2x equal to 0 and solve for x. And we're going to set 9x minus 1 equal to 0 and solve for x. To get x by itself here, we're going to divide both sides by 2. This crosses out. 0 divided by 2 is 0. Again, according to the problem, x cannot equal 0. So we know this isn't an answer choice. Let's solve for x over here. To do that, we're going to add 1 to both sides. This crosses out, leaving us with 9x over here. 0 plus 1 is 1. Again, to get x by itself, we're going to divide both sides of this equation by 9 now. This says x equals 1 ninth. So the answer to this one is d, x equals 1 ninth.